Thoreau, Walden, and Retirement. I recently read the book Walden, written by Henry David Thoreau. This is one of those classic books that most people were assigned to read in high school, and I didn't until now. Regardless of the merits of the book or whether or not you read it, there are a few quotes from it that I like to relate to modern retirement planning. Perhaps we can learn and adjust our retirement plans today based on the writings of Thoreau from 160 years ago. The first quote is, a man is rich in proportion to the number of things which he can afford to let alone. I see this as another way of saying that a simple life is a rich life. One of the first questions I ask people who seek my assistance with retirement planning is this, what do you want your retirement to look like? The answer is going to be different for each person or couple, but what I try to boil everything down to is the baseline lifestyle and the minimum income needed to achieve that lifestyle. Once you know what your baseline is, retirement planning becomes a whole lot easier. And the lower you can make that baseline, or the more things you can afford to let alone, the easier it will be to achieve your retirement lifestyle. The second quote, Spending of the best part of one's life, earning money in order to enjoy questionable liberty during the least valuable part of it, reminds me of the Englishman who went to India to make a fortune first in order that he might return to England and live the life of a poet. This quote, as it relates to retirement, has a lot to do with the timing of the spending of your savings. Many people I talk to suggest that they want to spend more during the early years of the retirement while they are healthy and able to do a lot more things. The thought is, is that as you age, you won't want to or may not be physically or mentally able to spend money on experiences or other luxuries. Enjoy the moment while you can. However, many others also tell me they fear running out of money and becoming a burden on their family as they age. So clearly the balance must be struck and this is something that I help people do all the time. The third quote, why should we be in such desperate haste to succeed and in such desperate enterprises? If a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it's because he hears a different drummer. Let him step to the music which he hears, however measured or far away. You've heard the phrase, keeping up with the Joneses, right? Well, constantly spending or not saving in order to keep up with your neighbors is an easy way to put retirement out of reach. In fact, even during retirement, it is common to be swept up into the latest trends or activities of other retirees to the detriment of your retirement nest egg. Sometimes, simply having an independent financial advisor to use as a soundboard in spending situations might prevent financial difficulties. I suppose if you reflect on all three of the quotes I just chose to highlight, you'll see a common theme throughout. Simplicity and independence. I try to bring these principles into my personal life but I also try to bring them to the retirement plans that I create with my clients when applicable. Perhaps this sets me apart from the typical financial advisor, but if that's the case, I will simply recite one of my favorite quotes from Walden and say, I would rather sit on a pumpkin and have it all to myself than be crowded on a velvet cushion. So if you want to hear more ideas about retirement planning or perhaps just talk about Henry David Thoreau, give us a call or stop by our office and I'd be happy to spend that time with you.